Hello, welcome to Makeup on Point. I'm Christy. I hope you're all having a lovely day and are here for another day to talk movies and makeup. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the movie Batman Forever that came out in 1995. And this is the movie that kind of changed everything for the Batman franchise. Merchandising got involved, McDonald's had a big influence on this change on the aesthetic of Batman, the stories of Batman, Warner Brothers was trying to make it more family friendly. It's a whole conundrum of our Batman movies. I'm also going to be turning myself into Two-Face from the movie Batman Forever. I'm having a little bit of a thought brainstorming conundrum of how I'm gonna do this. This is like this is gonna be a challenge makeup today. So let's just get into it. Let's have some fun and get into Too Faced makeup. So I'll see you in the next slide. Let's go. Hello, hello, hello. We are here today again. Now I already did half of my face just normal makeup for my normal human side and I blocked one eyebrow which I'll link that video in the description box below. Now I'm just starting off this makeup by just marking where all my scars and burned skin will be. I'm using a red pencil just so I could see it better plus it's gonna go under some silicone compound which I'll explain in just a moment. Now to achieve this makeup, I'm going to be using third degree silicone modeling compound. How to use it, you just mix part A, part B equally in a disposable cup like this one. You stir it together and then it'll start curing so you could form it on your face. I have the pourable liquid kind, so this is what it looks like at first when you're mixing it. And then you just start forming it on your face and just mold and sculpt everything on your face. So let me just explain real quickly what third degree silicone modeling compound is. Now it's a versatile silicone gel product that helps create prosthetics and special effects makeups. It can be molded on the face and you just have to, like I said before, you have to mix equal parts A and B together to create the gel solution. And don't ever mix the bottles together. You must always mix them in a separate container, otherwise you will just have wasted your total amount of silicone compound because once it cures, it can never be used again. And it cures really fast to like, I would explain it like how you use a hot glue gun and how that material is, but it feels a lot softer on the face. Now at this point, it's starting to get a little too thick for me to work with, so I'm just working really fast to add some extra like burnt texture and just roughly patting it on the skin to give that rough acid burn that Too Faced has. And once it looks like this, you can no longer mold and move it around. It's time to make another batch of silicone modeling compound and just another mixing dance as we make this next cup to continue on our modeling, molding process. Now as I mold the rest of my face, let's get into some Batman Forever facts. Now, as much as Batman Returns was successful for Warner Brothers, they were disappointed that the film overall made less money than the first one, The Batman. Now, Tim Burton was already working on the third Batman film to be titled Batman Continues, but there were some issues involved. Warner Brothers felt Burton's movies were too dark, grotesque with monsters and images, and wanted a marketable Batman they can sell to kids, since they felt the cape and cowl came with too much real emotional wounds, and they couldn't sell that. Now, Warner Brothers in the 1990s were in the business of fast money, and you could say with the DCEU now, they kind of still are, but that's a story for another day. Now, how Warner Brothers treated Batman in the 90s was more of single quick films to put a quick new trend in the world and be trending and just wasn't looking long term and only wanted short term gains and big ticket sales. It was a, it was a business of fast cash. 
And even with Batman Returns, McDonald's and other companies were highly involved in the marketing plan with the movie and invested millions into licensing for products. However, with the idea that Batman Returns was a family-friendly movie, it completely backfired since the movie's themes were geared more towards adults when you look at the movie as a whole. It pretty much became an expectation versus reality when it came to McDonald's contract in marketing because since they were expecting a family-friendly movie, but never actually saw the movie until after the fact. And McDonald's even went as far as to transforming most of their restaurants into Gotham City to promote the movie, which they've never done before. Tim Burton even said he thought he upset McDonald's because they asked what's coming out of Penguin's mouth, which is that oily substance, and we can't sell a toy to kids like that. The Penguin was terrifying and parents complained how McDonald's really was pushing this adult movie to kids. Now because of all this, Warner Brothers decided to drop Tim Burton as director even though he started writing scripts for the third movie and they saw a new director which they chose Joel Schumacher. Now that my face is done being sculpted with my silicone modeling compound, it is time to powder just to get rid of the shine and then we're going to start painting. I start off using water activated paints and start with the base of this pink color since this Too Faced is very hot pink reddish neon tones I, whatever it whatever they did for Batman Forever this is what he's doing so I had to go with the same color scheme. Then I went over with a more fuchsia type pink on top of it just to really get in the crevices. Just again, this is all just a base and we're gonna detail it in just a moment. Then I take some purple paint and I start getting really detailed into all the lines and inside the, well, the deeper crevices of the acid burns just to give it more depth now. So when Batman Forever came around, you could see the change entirely since McDonald's decided to keep going through with their contract with the Batman movies and Warner Brothers wanted to keep up their end of the deal for the money. Now you could tell in the design of the movie, it's brighter and more colorful and you can see these designs as sellable toys. Producers were even aiming to make the film for the MTV generation with full merchandising appeal. And I think this is the downfall for Warner Brothers because they stayed in this mindset. And it was at this moment I realized I was starting to look like a certain villain that was not from Batman. Huh, oh, what is life? Anyways. So the scripts and stories that were written for this third Batman film, Joel Schumacher took it and lightened it down to make Warner Brothers and all these marketing people very happy. Now, this is where I feel Warner Brothers fails at DC all the time, especially when it comes to Batman. Since they make it very money hungry, and yes, I understand the movie business is a business. But when you only concentrate on the business side and not the art side of the movie, that's where you kind of mess up. Especially with Warner Brothers, especially today, you could tell they're trying to catch up with Marvel so bad and want to be Marvel so bad. But the tones of DC Comics, especially in the Batman world, are not lighthearted. And that's where Warner Brothers fails. They want this lighthearted, family-friendly comic book franchise, but they also chose the darkest, grittiest franchise of the bunch. And then they took this franchise and made it more cartoony, campy, just so it's marketable, sellable to kids. I mean, I'm painting my face hot pink and purples and reds because that's how they made this new Two-Face instead of a realistic tone. And it starts bringing the Batman world into the campy nature, which turned everyone away essentially. And this went completely in that direction with Batman and Robin, but that discussion will be next week's video. Now with this makeup, I'm continuing on by shading everything with eyeshadow. I'm using a lot of purples and dark purples and just a hint of a hot pink eyeshadow, which you can't really see, 
but it's, it's just all the blendings going back and forth just so everything is one cohesive makeup and works. And luckily at this point, I found my neon UV light hot pink paint to highlight all these burns. And I felt like this is the part where it started pulling it more together since now I've really got that hot neon pink that he has on his face in the movie. And now I go in and starting with a light purple base for his lips and then I go in using a range of dark purple eyeshadows to shade it in. And then I start adding my final details to the lips using my felt eyeliner pen. Time to put on some contacts and lashes and my costume and I think it's montage time guys. And here it is, the Too Faced from Batman Forever. I added some glycerin on top of it. I just lightly put it on with the brush just so I could get like a glossy effect on the Too Faced side. But here we go. And I added a white uh, pupil contact from coloredcontacts.com. And here is Too Faced from Batman Forever. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today and getting all too faceified with me. And for more videos just like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, be kind to others, love yourself, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Now this is gonna be the most satisfying makeup removal. Let's do it. There we go.